with the short stories that you are adapting and, and eventually <laughs> filming soon, um, what were they about the characters? What I mean, Killing Animals, it's about like sort of these kids in the 90s that, is that right, that kind of break free at night and, and, and yearn to leave the safety of Palo Alto and sort of be a little more wild and on the fringe? Yeah, um, yeah, that's exactly it. I, I wanted to do a story about um, about youth and growing up. And as you're growing up, you want to you want to like try to try to explore the boundaries of what you can do, what not, what you're not supposed to do. You know, and maybe maybe when you're young, you're you feel you feel fearless. You feel you feel brave and fearless and anything's possible and you're reckless, but then as you, you start growing up, you realize what you do has repercussions and consequences. So, so it, maybe it's a film about like these, te these teenagers uh, dealing with like really grown-up issues for the first time, like getting into a hit-and-run or um, getting into um, uh, very, bad, very bad fights with each other, physical fights, um, and... and, and First time doing drink, drinking or doing drugs for the first time is like really exploring this like that edge when you start losing your childhood innocence and start realizing that the world you live in is not as safe as it is, or not as not as secure as it can be, even though you live in the suburbs, which are um, very neat and protected and designed in a way to segregate to to um, keep you comfortable. You know, it's like yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, these kids who, are, who, who, these kids in Palo Alto who have been, I guess, maybe it's felt like being too comfortable and they try to get out of it and they're realizing that the world is, is, is maybe a little bit more dangerous than they thought. But dealing with danger and getting what they wanted in an unexpected way. Yeah. Sorry, I'm kind of, kind of rambling. No, no. I, um, did you go to Palo Alto or even East Palo Alto and, and kind of see the contrast of those two worlds and, and how safe things are? Before you cross the bridge to East Palo Alto and the whole world. There. Yeah, I I went a while back when I was an undergrad. I went to school in Berkeley uh, for my undergrad years. Uh, so the the Bay Area is in a way like I feel my 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 second home where I became who I am and found my identity as a person. You know, um, and and we took a trip out to Palo Alto when I was nineteen twenty. And I remember being very shocked by how, how you know, the suburbs there are, are, is, is, is very jarring, where, like, one area is super, you know, a little bit affluent and comfortable, you know, and just, like, very close by, you have, you have another world. You know, and it's just, like, but it's the suburbs, so, like, it's only miles apart, but it feels like a totally different landscape, and, like, and... Um, and I think also what's very interesting too is like how um, even though they live separately in a way, but they were so close, in high school, um, the different social classes um, mixed in together, you know, so that's like, it's, it's a, nice, a nice contrast with a lot, a lot of tension uh, that I find very fascinating. I don't know. And whereabouts do you hope to shoot this in Palo Alto? There's there's so many different parts to it. Where where do you envision shooting a lot of it? Um, I think what I'm attracted to is um, there is a there is a Palo Alto that, that we that we have right now. Um, but I you know I I need to go scout properly too. But there's a there's a Palo Alto. You know the, the the suburbs that are very affluent and comfortable, but I'm also interested in seeing like the new construction of what's happening right now in Palo Alto with the the new developments um, because of the tech industry and um, and how how it's changing. I think what the Palo Alto under construction with um, in my imagination with um, with um, um, gay communities or make mansions. Um, worlds like that, I think, are very interesting to me because they feel like environments that are like um, that are not really real environments in a way. You know, they're not really new real places. I think you know, like 
like it's it's um, it's like most of chess to I don't know it could, be, it could be be interesting to, to explore, you know? and then explore, explore how like the people live in it. You know, like how these kids hang out in like parking lots and um, and Seven Eleven super malls, you know, or like because there's nowhere else to go in a way. You know, they, they go to like these non cases, kind of these freeways and stuff like that because they have nowhere else to hang out. Their own cars, each other's homes, you know, and it's like these cases that seem innocent, you know, but um, other things can happen in there that are darker. <laughs>